Hey, Scruffy. You're hiding. So it's dinner time. Are you excited? Hmm, I don't know. <clears throat> so I have, let's see, oh, it's the, uh, the end of the can. So it's the party cuts with real turkey and the kibble and earth. I guess you're ready, huh? This time. Okay. Seem about forty minutes early. But usually Scruffy's visible around now, so he's standing on that this mat here. So I didn't see him. Because he's too close to the wall. So I don't, didn't know how long he was waiting here. I saw him sleeping about an hour ago on the big table. So I knew he was around. Actually, in fact, I, I know he was around all day. So I had a really unusual day. I shifted my schedule because I needed to run a bunch of errands early this morning. <clears throat> so as a... Will you talk? Oh, it's really consumed his uh, attention there. Ready? So I think I need to get a, give him a flea pill soon. So I was going to wait till I finish uh, the earth treatment. <clears throat> so I think there's about a week left of the earth treatment. So we're going for about a month. So anyway, yeah, I needed to get gas, and I needed to, uh, to do a smog check. So I went to sleep early, got up actually way too early. So yeah, I was trying to get up early, but not that early. So I was, I think, a couple hours before sunrise, and... Uh, it was one of those things like I need to sleep longer, but I also need to get up soon. <laughs> and so I didn't really get back to sleep and <clears throat> I've already been not getting enough sleep. So anyway, I got up really early this morning because I wanted to be uh, get to the gas station uh, when it opened. So the, yeah, the, I went to go to the Costco um, gas station. Um, so I know that for the last, uh, I don't know, it's been a while, many months, the <clears throat> gas lines at Costco have been ridiculously long because oil or gas is so expensive now. And so everyone's lining up because Costco has the best prices in town. But I don't want to wait in those lines. I haven't done the math. I don't know if uh, waiting in the lines is uh, pays for itself or not. That's assuming you don't have any uh, time cost. If you, I know if you put in your time cost, it's probably not worth it. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, I know from previous experience, just in general, if you get to the Costco gas station right at opening, there's usually no line. And I was not sure if that 
is still happening even in this uh, current climate. So <clears throat> I checked online the Google um, store hours and they have a little indicator showing you the busiest and uh, least busy times of day. So they, they give you like a little bar graph per hour uh, for any day of the week. And from what I could tell was uh, yeah, right at opening was yeah still still uh, best time to go. Don't know what the lines are like, but you know it's clearly uh, much lower traffic than every every uh, other time of the day. So I said, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I need to. I, I should at least find out what my options are. So I should go there first thing in the morning. And I need gas pretty badly. Um, I've been putting it off for actually months now. I've been fortunate I don't have to drive it that often. And then uh, I've been walking places and taking my bike. and <clears throat> So I have other ways I can reduce my gas usage. Man, he's really climbing there. Put his weight, his body weight in my hand, uh, wrist there. So anyway, um, yeah, so in addition to needing gas, um, so I've been needing to also refill my, or yeah, refill my um, emergency gas canisters. So I have a little bit of emergency gas in case the power goes out so I can run a generator or, or I guess if there's a major gas shortage and I need to refill my car, I got a you know, canister available. So, I've been using Stabil to keep the gas just swatted at me. Not very hard, but he swatted at me. Why did you do that? Why did you do that, Scruffy? So, he's not headbutting my uh, glove this time. Do you know what you did was wrong? Yeah. Stomach pets. So I need you to apologize first. Yeah. Okay, I think he's presenting his uh I want me to pet you. Okay, yeah. there we go. So he's been striking me more often this week. So one time it would have hurt. The other three times I don't think they were that bad, which includes tonight. But I'm trying to teach him it's not appropriate. And I'll never be able to take the glove off if he keeps doing that. So anyway, yeah, I had to use Stabil to uh, keep the gas uh, in a state I can store it a little bit longer. And so today, yeah, I, so I had one, yeah, so I took my or my uh, gas canister. It's I think a little over a year now, and I put it into my car. And then I was going to refuel the canisters. 
and then uh, and also yeah the so I've, I'm so low on gas the canister actually didn't make that much of a difference so I needed to get more gas for my car too <clears throat> Okay, I think I'm gonna give Scruffy his food now. You want your food? I think I heard a purr there. Okay, let's get your food. Oops. Yeah, this is where he was grooming earlier. There's this piece of fur that's coming out there. Okay, I think I'm done. Oops. Flip the brush over here by accident. <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, uh, when I left, so when I left this morning, yeah, I get. To, uh, or to leave for gas, I actually saw Scruffy in the front. So he was, I think, sitting in the driveway or in my front yard garden, and he saw me and he backed up a bit. So he didn't expect me to come out there or expect anyone to come out. And so he was spying on, so he ran off the driveway into the garden and was kind of spying on me as I came out and, um, dealt with my fuel canisters and my car. And then he uh, eventually, I think, got bored, but didn't like me out there, so he ran back into the backyard. And I happened to need to go back into the house, and I saw him uh, through the kitchen window, and he was back on the big table. And he may have saw me, or I'm not sure, but I was busy, so I, I didn't film him or anything. But <clears throat> um, later, I think, yeah, you know, after I came back, he was uh, sleeping on the big table. So I kind of won, you know, uh, wonder if, uh, if he, uh, he recognized me in the front and then felt guilty or felt like he needed to come back here. So maybe it would be good or something, or maybe I'd feed him or something. That was interesting. He immediately came back onto the big table back here. I'm not sure why he did that. Because, you know, he kind of goes wherever he wants, including the front. So there was actually plenty of places he could have hid in the front garden. He didn't have to come all the way back into the backyard. So anyway, uh, let's see, at lunchtime, yeah, I think he was behind the big table again, I think. So I came out and yeah, we played the waiting game with the water again, so I put it down, squatted there for about two minutes. He didn't budge. So he won this round, and then, yeah, the moment I went back inside, he went right for the water. So, yeah, he's, uh, I think he's learned he can outweigh me. <laughs> so, yeah, I think he's won. Um, could be that, yeah, it, it, the weather has been cooler. Actually, the clouds came in today, so uh, it was kind of overcast a lot of the day. Um, and 
and so it was a little cooler today uh, because of that. So I actually kind of liked the temperature today. It wasn't miserable. The house, uh, the house is still a little too warm, but yeah, it's a little. I think it's like a degree or two cooler than yesterday. So yeah. Anyway, um, yes. Uh, on the topic of cats, so when I, I actually uh, later on this morning, I think when I left for the smog check, uh, because yeah, the gas station opened I think a few hours before the smog check place, so I had to come back here and kill in a couple hours before I went to get a smog check, and. Uh, <clears throat> When I left for the smog check, I realized I forgot to bring a coupon because the place I was going to had a uh, a twenty dollar off coupon you could print from, on, um, from the website. So I came back to get the coupon, and then I saw Boots was crossing my front yard and uh, into my driveway as I was pulling up. And then we saw me pull up, and then. Uh, he decided to run out of the driveway into the street and go across the street. So yeah, Boots is around. I didn't realize he was uh, hanging out in my garden. So yeah, Boots has a pretty wide uh, range. So he, I've seen him in uh, quite a wide area of this neighborhood. So I don't know where he hangs out, and I just kind of presume he hangs out everywhere. So every every place in this neighborhood's his uh, territory. <clears throat> so so anyway, uh, at Costco, yeah, I uh, got there. I think maybe a few minutes after the theoretical opening. I didn't actually see them open the gas station, so they might have opened the door early. Um, but yeah, there were already cars in the stalls, but uh, there were plenty of empty stalls, so basically I didn't have to wait. I, just, I basically pulled up to any, pump, or any lane that I wanted and you know, basically start pumping. So yeah, good time to go. Uh, first thing in the morning, yeah, no no line. So, so even in this uh, current climate, uh, you still can get Costco gas without waiting if you want to get up early enough. Um, I actually didn't fill up my tank all the way because the other problem is I haven't been driving that much and it's actually it's kind of taken me a long time to use up a tank of gas and I'm actually worried the stable may not last as long as the claim. So, um, so I've been hesitant to fill up the gas tank all the way because of, because of that because I know the, the ethanol gas actually separates in the water and it can really screw up your gas tank if you don't use up your gas fast enough. And yeah, the ethanol stuff's like pretty bad stuff for your engine. So anyway, yeah, it's this balancing act. So I didn't fill up the tank today, and even though I didn't fill up the tank, yeah, I, this is the very first time I spent over $100 on gas. I couldn't believe how expensive it was. And even still, the, um, I think the Costco gas is still almost like 90 cents cheaper per gallon than uh, uh, a lot of the stations in the area. So, yeah, it's, this is really messed up. So, um, oh boy, it's bad. And I didn't even fill up the tank. So, I may have to go back. And then the smog check, I forgot how much gas that would use because, yeah, we would sit there for 20 minutes running the smog check. So I got, so I left for the smog check and I actually got there five minutes before they opened and there are already two people in line ahead of me. So I didn't get there early enough and so I ended up waiting Probably about 
40, 50 minutes. So that was boring. And then let's see, afterwards yeah, I renewed my car registration and then coincidentally my car insurance was due, so, uh, or is up for uh, renewal, so I had to pay that too. So you know, today's an expensive day. But uh, at least I have emergency, fresh emergency gas now. I'm gonna have to buy more stable. I still have a little bit left, but uh, that's not enough, I think, to refill, do another refill. But yeah, I'm hopefully not gonna have to go back for gas for a while. Can I the bowl again? Or? I think he cleaned it pretty well, so I think he's done. Yep, he's marching off. Okay, I'm gonna get up here. He's gonna finish marching off. Yep. The moment I start moving, he leaves. Okay, thanks folks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.